Louisiana evacuees are trying to escape the drenching rains and high winds of Hurricane Isaac. Many are seeking shelter in southeast Texas motels and hotels. Several hotels in Beaumont are filled to capacity. Six News reporter Callie Desimone joins us live from the studio. Six extended stay in the hotel off of Interstate 10 in Beaumont. Callie. Kelly, the number of out-of-state plates in this hotel parking lot represents the number of people fleeing from Hurricane Isaac. There's plates from Mississippi, Louisiana, and even one from Florida. But one family is taking up many of these spots, a family of more than two dozen. We are not on a vacation. We are running from this country. We are running, running, running. Yes, we are. Marlene Lockett and her two-month-old grandson, AJ, aren't alone. She and the rest of her family of more than 30 have taken up more than half a dozen rooms at the Studio 6 Extended Stay Hotel in Beaumont. Didn't know um, if it was going to turn into a hurricane, was going to be a tropical storm. So, I mean, in other ways, you have to be prepared and whatever it is to, you know, to go, you have to go. They're trying to get comfortable by unpacking some clothes and finding places to put the few sentimental items they were able to grab when they left New Orleans. I'm looking for safety for myself and the home, is mis mis which is material, can always be replaced. Which ultimately may make for slightly better news. They're watching weather updates on TV, hoping they'll get some sense of what's happening in their neighborhood. If we lose everything, it's like starting up all over again. The family had to start all over again following Katrina. That was major. Uh, when we knew that it was coming in as a hurricane and a powerful one at that, you know, hitting the outskirts of New Orleans, Louisiana, we left, you know, immediately. And nearly seven years to the day after they evacuated from Katrina, the family is back in Texas again, fleeing Isaac. And they're not alone. The license plates tell the story family seeking refuge from Isaac. Hoping for the best, you know, not for the worst. Hope that extends to those who couldn't get out of harm's way. Those that, you know, we left behind, pray that they still be there also. And that their homes don't suffer the ravages of yet another storm. I don't want to leave memories behind either, so, you know, just hoping that everything stays, you know, to where I left it. And the family says it would be a blessing to return to an untouched home. Right now, they're just trying to remain positive and calm and hope that they don't come home to nothing. Reporting live in Beaumont, Callie Desimone, KFDM 6 News.